15,000 dollars, 300 miles, no lithium required. Tesla just confirmed the Model 2 is launching in December, and the specs are genuinely insane. We're talking about a compact hatchback priced lower than any EV on the planet, equipped with aluminum-ion batteries that deliver double the energy density of lithium cells. The kicker? A 53-kilowatt-hour pack that somehow achieves 300-plus miles of range. Numbers that engineers said were impossible at this price point. If Musk actually pulls this off, how does BYD compete when their $12,000 cars can't match this range? Let's dive right in. By 2025, BYD wasn't just competing with Tesla. They were crushing them in sales volume. Chinese automakers flooded markets with EVs priced as low as $12,000. And the message was brutal. Premium pricing won't save you when buyers can't afford entry. Tesla's Model Y performed well despite higher costs. But that success masked reality. Without a sub-$20,000 option, Tesla was locked out of the fastest-growing EV segment. When Musk originally targeted $30,000 for the Model 2, analysts knew it wouldn't work. BYD would still undercut them by half. Then, Tesla slashed the target to $14,990, a figure that seemed impossible for a vehicle packed with self-driving hardware. How do you build an advanced EV for less than a used Honda Civic? Internal sources confirm Tesla is finalizing every detail for a December unveiling, and Musk has been unusually secretive. When Joe Rogan tried extracting information, Musk shut it down, claiming this could be the most memorable product unveil ever. That level of secrecy from someone who overshares on X suggests something genuinely disruptive. The name hasn't been confirmed, but insiders unanimously call it the Model 2, a compact hatchback smaller than both Model 3 and Model Y. Leaked design documents show this isn't a stripped-down version of existing models. Tesla developed an entirely new design language with higher-mounted headlights that look sharper than anything in their current lineup. The front fascia abandons the sleek light bar, opting for a cleaner, more aerodynamic approach that cuts costs without looking cheap. Does this design sacrifice the premium feel that made Tesla a status symbol? Or prove minimalism works at any price? The body uses next-gen gigacasting that fundamentally changes car assembly. Instead of welding dozens of panels, Tesla casts massive frame sections in single pieces, dramatically reducing seams and assembly time. The exterior looks smoother than expected from a budget EV. Tesla eliminated unnecessary curves, keeping only shapes needed for optimal airflow. This isn't cost-cutting disguised as design. It's engineering efficiency that looks futuristic. Door design nearly became controversial when rumors suggested falcon wing doors might appear. None of that materialized. The Model 2 uses standard four-door layout because Tesla prioritized real-world practicality over viral stunts. Falcon wing doors look incredible, but they're expensive, complex, and useless in tight parking. For mass market targeting millions of buyers, practicality had to win. But if the exterior exceeded expectations, the interior tells a different story. Let's be direct about what you're losing. Fabric seats instead of vegan leather. Less plush. Harder to clean. No seat heating. The panoramic glass roof is gone, replaced with standard metal that makes the cabin feel more enclosed. Single-pane glass means road noise will be louder on highways. Ambient lighting limited to one color, and the speaker system reduced to basic audio that won't satisfy enthusiasts. Multiple sources in Tesla's supply chain confirmed these specs. As Musk repeatedly stated, if you want premium features, buy premium models. 
The Model 2 exists for one reason. Making Tesla ownership accessible to people priced out for years. But here's what changes everything. While the interior got stripped, the technology underneath remained untouched. Every Model 2 ships with Tesla's complete FSD hardware suite, including front-facing camera integrated into the fascia. This isn't optional. It's standard. Tesla knows autonomy is the foundation of their business model. The Model 2 is designed from day one to operate in Tesla's future robo-taxi network, meaning the cheapest Tesla might eventually generate income through autonomous ride-sharing. Think about it. You buy a $15,000 car that could theoretically pay for itself within two years by operating as a robo-taxi when you're not using it. That's Tesla's stated long-term strategy. But none of this matters if battery technology can't deliver on range and cost promises. This is where the Model 2 becomes genuinely revolutionary. Every Tesla ever built has used lithium-based chemistry. NCA, NMC, LFP. They all contained lithium. The Model 2 breaks that two-decade streak entirely. According to leaks from Tesla's battery team, the base model launches with aluminum ion cells, a chemistry that's existed in labs for years but never reached commercial production at scale. When these rumors surfaced, even battery engineers were skeptical. Lithium dominates because it works reliably, and the supply chain exists globally. Aluminum ion has been next big thing for a decade without materializing. So why would Tesla bet their most important launch on unproven chemistry? Economics. Lithium prices have swung from $80,000 per ton down to $10,000 within 18 months. That volatility makes long-term pricing impossible. Aluminum is Earth's most abundant metal and costs a fraction of lithium per ton. But cost alone doesn't matter if performance isn't there. Lithium ions carry single positive charge. Aluminum ions carry three. That triple charge means each aluminum ion moves significantly more electrons per cycle, increasing current flow and energy transfer efficiency. Early prototypes demonstrated energy densities around 500 watt-hours per kilogram, nearly double the 250 watt-hours per kilogram typical of lithium ion cells. You can pack twice the energy into same weight or achieve same range with half the battery size and cost. Tesla's base Model 2 reportedly uses just 53 kilowatt hours, yet delivers over 300 miles EPA estimated range. For context, Model 3 standard range uses 60 kilowatt hours LFP battery and achieves 272 miles. The Model 2 gets 10% more range with 12% less capacity. That efficiency gap isn't just aerodynamics, it's the chemistry. Cost estimates suggest 53 kilowatt hours aluminum ion pack runs approximately $2,000 cheaper than equivalent LFP, directly enabling the $14,990 price. But there's a catch nobody's discussing. Aluminum ion batteries have never been tested at commercial scale over multi-year life cycles in real conditions. Lab results are promising, but labs don't replicate Minnesota winters, Arizona summers, or constant vibration of pothole-filled streets. Lithium ion took 15 years of refinement to reach current reliability. Tesla is attempting to skip that entire curve and go straight to mass production. What happens if aluminum ion cells degrade faster than expected? What if charging speed drops after 50,000 miles? Tesla will offer long-range Model 2 variant with larger aluminum ion pack for extended range, but if base chemistry fails in real-world testing, the entire program could face massive recalls. That's the risk Musk is taking. He's betting Tesla's engineering solved problems that stumped researchers for decades. Is that confidence justified? Or is this the biggest gamble in Tesla's history?
Here's exactly why this changes everything. The $14,990 price point isn't just aggressive, it's strategic warfare. If aluminum ion delivers on those 300 mile range promises, BYD's entire cost advantage evaporates overnight. Tesla will have matched their pricing while maintaining technological superiority in autonomy, charging infrastructure, and battery efficiency. That's not competition. That's market domination. But December's reveal will answer the question everyone's avoiding. Can aluminum ion survive real-world durability testing, or is Musk gambling Tesla's future on unproven chemistry? If it works, we're watching the moment EVs became genuinely accessible to average Americans. If it fails, Tesla faces the biggest recall crisis in automotive history. And this is just the beginning. By 2026, Tesla expects to produce thousands of Model 2s daily, with Optimus robots assembling them. That's when costs drop even further, potentially pushing sub-$10,000 EVs into reality. The entire transportation industry is about to shift. So here's the real question. Would you buy the Model 2 at launch and accept the risk, or wait two years for proven reliability? This is Tech Revolution, where we break down the innovations reshaping our world. If you want deeper analysis on what's actually happening in tech, you know where to find us. The affordable EV revolution doesn't start when it's perfect. It starts when it's possible. Nine minutes. That's all it takes to fully charge Tesla's new battery. Not 30 minutes, not an hour. Nine minutes for a complete 1,000-mile range. Sounds impossible, right? But here's the twist nobody saw coming. This isn't even lithium anymore. Tesla quietly switched to aluminum-ion chemistry, and the implications are staggering. While everyone was focused on improving lithium cells, they built something entirely different. A battery that moves three electrons per cycle instead of one. So what's the real secret? Let's dive right in. Here's where things get wild. While every battery expert on the planet was obsessing over solid-state lithium, Tesla's engineers were working on something completely different in their Nevada labs. The breakthrough? Aluminum ions that carry three electrons per cycle instead of lithium's single electron? Think about that for a second. It's like switching from a single-lane road to a three-lane highway, except the traffic is energy flowing into your battery. But why aluminum? The answer is almost too simple. It's the third most abundant element on Earth, it doesn't catch fire like lithium, and it moves faster through the electrolyte. Yet somehow, for decades, the entire industry dismissed it as impractical. What changed? Tesla cracked the code on multi-electron charging systems. Instead of waiting for one ion to shuffle one electron at a time, aluminum handles three simultaneously. The energy transfer becomes exponential, not linear. And suddenly, that 1.2 megawatt charging input that seemed absurd? It makes perfect sense. Let's address the elephant in the room. Charging any battery to 100% in 9 minutes should, theoretically, turn it into a fireball. Every engineer knows that heat is the battery's worst enemy. Fast charging equals heat buildup equals degradation. Or worse, thermal runaway. So how is Tesla pulling this off without smoke, fire, or warning signs? The secret lies in thermal management that borders on aerospace-level engineering. Tesla integrated a micro-channeled aluminum plate with 18,000 parallel capillaries running through it. Yes, 18,000 tiny channels where coolant flows with surgical 